Welcome to another exciting edition of Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Goy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And we're kind of moving things a little bit in a different direction on our channel, which is total news to you because I never told you. Um, well, big surprise there. Well, to celebrate the the uh, new channel, we got a big spread behind us there. So oh, nice. Belly up to the bar there. and grab hungry. Your... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, one thing that... I think we're going to start moving toward a little bit is general business lessons. Um, how long have you been involved in the business? Oh man, since I was about 12 years old. So about 30 plus years, 30 plus years. years yeah. And I, my day job, I've dealt with businesses for over 30 years of my day job as well. And before that, my father had the comic store. So I, since I was about 12 years old, I've been involved in business as well. Um, wheel and deal and learning things and I've seen the insides of lots and lots and lots of businesses and so one of the things we're going to do going forward from time to time is talk about things that we've seen uh, for businesses and where they were good and where they were bad and you can take this information and you can apply it to your own business um, one of the things that always amazes me is how many people have businesses out there and especially on eBay and Amazon because a lot of people really shouldn't be in business um, but they have no customer service skills whatsoever and I'm sure you see that as oh, well yeah. more and more especially during COVID <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people start their businesses and they don't understand that the, the old saying is the buyer is always right um, that's not entirely true, uh, but there are ways to deal with people. I mean, I'm sure you've had buyers that, that make outlandish claims. I'm sure oh, you've had... Crazy. Uh, real quick, tell the one oh. tell the one quick story about the, the X-Men. Bo the boots? Oh. Well, go ahead. Tell the boot story. Uh, <laughs> so I think it was before Christmas, a gentleman orders a, a brand new pair. I think they're called Works Boot with an X. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Whatever size it was he needed, it was brand new. It was like a hundred bucks, so he saved like twenty five bucks off. If he went to the store or whatever. So that was before Christmas. Now we're over a month later. There was a steel toe, and it was hurting his toe. And now he's worn him for a month at work. It's hurting his toe, and he wants to return it. I said, "Well, I'm not the company. I didn't build the shoe. You know, I would contact the company. He bought him through Amazon, and Amazon." You know, right now, I don't want to say they don't care about the seller, but you can't communicate with Amazon if you're a seller, only if you're a buyer. So he's going to return them and get his full price back, and I'm going to be left with a pair of used a shoes. Pair of used, yeah, or they're boots. not yeah. my size. Maybe I'd wear them, you know, after I, <laughs> after I sterilize them or something. But, you know, it, and it happens all the time. I get, like, toys back that were new in box, and then they come back opened and used or broken or whatever, and we're responsible for some reason. You know, and on eBay, you can ban them. Unfortunately, on Amazon, you cannot. So, what was the X-Men story? Uh, when somebody sent you something back that wasn't an X-Men. Oh, that's right. The, the action figure. Yeah, I sold an X-Men action figure, and then I think I got back returned an empty Batman box. <laughs> so, I, and, it was, and it was like $150. So, I called up eBay, and uh, I said, this is outrageous. How do I prove this? So they said, well, you have to file a police report. Once you file a police report, we know it's a legitimate you know, issue that he did cheat you or whatever, which I did. And eBay refunded me. He, they gave me my money back. So eBay ate it. You know, the other person screwed me, but I got my money back. So, so I'm going to give a story over here, and hopefully you can take some lessons out of this if you're watching this. Have you ever ordered takeout food? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> Which of the, and I, and I don't mean calling pizza out and having them deliver. I'm talking about using one of the delivery services. Uh, not very often. Uh, I don't think I have. Uber no. Eats, DoorDash, mm -hmm. Grubhub, any of those? Maybe Grubhub one time. So I've never done it, but my stepson has done it many, many times. And we've always used Grubhub. And the only issue is occasionally the food will come a little bit cold. And if you're one of the restaurants, we did run across one person that did not know how to set up their uh, settings for their price. So if a salad was... $12, they had put a plus $12 instead of $12. So now the salad was $24. <laughs> oh, nice. Good for them. <laughs> hey, if you uh, order, it's a million dollar hamburger yeah. theory. Um, so we did not order from them, obviously. But again, the food comes cold every once in a while, whatever. But 
you know, it saves you driving to the place to do it. And of course, they charge you some fees, et cetera, et cetera. So we wanted to order some food back a couple of weeks ago. It was the, my wife's birthday. So we looked on there um, on Uber Eats and found a couple of restaurants we liked, but we weren't able to order from them because I guess there wasn't uh, one of the Uber Eats drivers anywhere near there. So we said, okay, I guess we can't order from there. Is there anything else we can use? And my stepson said, well, there is DoorDash. So let's use DoorDash. We found a restaurant on there. We put together an order. You know, it's a birthday meal. We're not going to go out to eat at a restaurant with everything going on out there. So it was about a $120 order after tip and tax and delivery charge and the food. So we put the order in, put the order in about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, my wife wants to shower, wants to go, yeah, 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 the food's going to be here at 3 o'clock. It's our delivery. No problem whatsoever. You know, they have to cook the food. They got to pick it up. They got to bring it to me, et cetera, et cetera. So no problem. Stepson looks down at, you know, 249. Oh, the food's 11 minutes away. Oh, great, 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 great. So we're doing our stuff. He looks down. Oh, it's 12 minutes away. Oh, okay. The guy made a right turn instead of a left. No big deal. Then all of a sudden, the order was canceled. Wow. So $120 birthday meal order canceled. And he said, I don't know what's going on. So he goes to try to order it again. And we're not able to order from that restaurant. So we said, well, wait, the guy picked up the order. Yeah. He had the order in his car. Apparently he got hungry. I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. So we did not get the order. So I said to my stepson, I said, look, I'm going to contact customer service. I said, log into your account and I'll do it over the phone yeah. or over the uh, computer. So you get a live chat. Contacted customer service. You know, hey, I wanted to see what was going on. We didn't get our order. Oh, we're very sorry. Okay. We're going to give you your money back. Uh, that was pretty much my reaction. I go, well, yes, you are. I don't even know why you're telling me that. And, you know, well, we're sorry. I said, well, what ended up happening? We got this. Well, the, the driver said he tried to contact you. So I turned to steps on and I said, did you, any phone call? No, nobody called me. He picks his phone up, looks at it. Nobody called me. I said, well, we don't appear to have gotten contacted. That does not appear to have happened. Mm. Oh, well, I'm really sorry. I said, look, we want... You know, we feel bad. She goes, well, there was an accident. The food got damaged. That's what she said. The food got damaged. I go, how exactly does the food get damaged? And that's when she said, well, there was an accident. Apparently, from what I could piece together, he was driving on his way to our house. There was an accident in front of him. He probably slammed on his brakes. Everything fell off onto the floor and, you know, got all wrecked up like that. But we were never contacted about it. Right. And I said, well, that's terrible. Things do happen. I understand this. How about, and you run a business, your DoorDash. Yep. Tell me if this would be reasonable or not. Sure. For me as a customer, mm-hmm. I said, I would like a $5 courtesy credit. Does that seem reasonable? Or Absolutely. am I being unreasonable? I think that's- Two, I mean, I, I would say twenty dollars or something. I mean, inconvenience. It's a birthday. Hours have gone by. Absolutely. So I said a five dollar courtesy credit. Oh, I'm not authorized. Basically, we gave you your money back. Oh, and here's the best part: they gave us our money back, but it's going to take one to three days to get back in the account. <laughs> I so I, you know, here I am chatting away, typing, and I'm saying, please put yourself in my shoes. You apologize, which is great. Yeah. You're going to give me my money back, but I'm not going to get it back for one to three days. It was a birthday meal for my wife. It's an hour and a half later by this time, by the time you're done with all the chatting. And we're still hungry. Now we need to order again, which is going to take another hour for the food to come. And I'm asking for $5. I believe I'm being reasonable. Crazy, yeah. So a few back and forths where I couldn't get anywhere with her was like talking to a wall. And I, she finally said, I'm not authorized to do that. Now, you as a customer at that point, dealing with a large corporation, what yeah. would you say? I would want to speak to someone, to someone above them. Perfect. I said, please, and, and, and here's where I've done. Well, at this point, it's not about $5 because you've already wasted hours of it. and Your time's worth way more than that. So. Here's where I've done these kind of things far too often, and I, I speak their language. I said, please escalate me. <laughs> to a manager who can authorize a $5 courtesy credit. Yeah. No escalation. I asked a second time. You know, she, well, it's not in my system. Said, then escalate me to someone 
Right. It's in their there system. Must be someone they have Somebody to can yeah. can escalate this and give me a five dollar sure. credit. And at this point, it isn't about the five dollars. It's about the principle of the thing. Sure. Um, and I even put in there, and this is very important to remember. Uh, studies show that if you have a negative experience with the company, you mm-hmm. tell ten people. If you have a positive, you tell one. True. Um, and I even put that in there. I said, look, I'm just letting you know I'm having a very negative experience. I've never used your company before, mm-hmm. and this is what's happening. Um, so then she does back, well, you need to call, and she puts a number down for customer service. I said, I'm not calling customer <laughs> service. I- I'm not doing that. I said, thank you. Have a good day. I said, and maybe here I want a touch over the line. I was being reasonable all along. I may have gone a touch over the line. I said to her, I want you to put yourself in my shoes. I'm out a couple of hours. I have no food, so I'm hungry. I have no money because I'm not getting my money back for one to three days. (laughs) I've sat there and wasted all this time with customer service, and I'm asking for $5. Mm -hmm. And if your company's not able to do it, that's not a very good company to work for. You should put in your resume with a different company that cares about its customers. I said, I don't think I'm being unreasonable. So... We went and we ordered on Uber Eats. The food showed up. It was wonderful. Had a, you know, I had a, a nice little meal and all that. In the meantime, I went onto the internet and I found, uh, allegedly, the email of the CEO of DoorDash. Oh, wow. So I emailed him. And I know it's not truly him. It's some right. kind of an account that's sure. monitored. So I emailed the CEO and told them what happened. I get an email back about an hour later. Wow, that's impressive. That's good. Tony, Tony's the CEO's name, as I recall. Tony reached out to me to ask me to contact you. Can we set up a call? Okay. I said, okay, sure. (laughs) So I said, any afternoon, I got off work at this time. She said, how about tomorrow at 4 o'clock? I said, okay. I said, just to let you know. This is me. This is my email. The account's in so and so's name. It's this, yeah. you know, just because right, sure. I'm talking on his behalf type deal. Sure. Oh, no problem, no problem. I said, we'll both be there. His number is. And I gave all the things so she knows that I'm legitimately right. with that account, per se. So she calls back and she goes, Why don't you tell me what happened? The next day, she says, Why don't you tell me what happened? I mean, I kind of know what happened. Why don't you tell me? And I, I explained it all to her and I said, I don't feel I'm being unreasonable. Right, right. And she said, Oh, no, you're not being unreasonable. At, you know, you're, you're being very reasonable. You're not being unreasonable at all. Yeah. And we talked about it for a couple of minutes. And she said, look, I'm going to use this as an opportunity for some retraining of my staff. And we feel really bad for what happened to you. Right. We are going to give you a credit of $100. Nice. So I ended up with a $100 credit in there. And we used it yesterday, as a matter of fact. No problems whatsoever. Very good food. And here's a shout out to to friend of the channel, Primetime Treasure Hunter. I sent him actually a picture of the spread we got. Dinosaur barbecue. <laughs> Family of six meal. $80 plus yeah. tax tip, everything like that. Shout out to Dinosaur Barbecue. They gave us a free jar of sauce, which we didn't even expect. Nice. Great meal. Great time. It was paid for by DoorDash. Thank you very much, DoorDash. I did want to say something very positive about them on the back end. They yeah. did treat me very, very well. Um, but they made a lot of mistakes in the first part, which, again, they yeah. the CEO's assistant was willing to take ownership of and talk about retraining. If somebody asks you for something and it's reasonable, I mean, there are times I know you've given people refunds or told me to give people refunds just to make them go away. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. they're not being reasonable. Right. Yeah. If they're being reasonable about it, yeah. by all means, sure. make the customer happy. Um, yeah. You know, we've got over 700 subscribers. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. But again, DoorDash treated me right. I've got nothing but positive things to say about them. It did take a little bit of time to, to work my way up to escalate, <laughs> as they say, in order to get it. But they stood behind their product in the end. And, and that's all any customer can ask. Um, stand behind your product. And if, if there was a problem that happened, most of you watching are small businesses. You don't have to deal with layers and layers and layers of management. 
you probably don't have a CSR. You don't have a CSR, do you? No. no. <laughs> you probably don't have not, not CSRs. Yeah. So you're a small business. You can treat somebody really well, and they will continue to come back. And if they continue to come back, they'll even pay higher prices for for your item than they will right. from somebody else because they know that you provide quality and you, and you stand by your product and yeah absolutely so hopefully that teaches you a little bit something gives you a little lesson i mean put yourself in the customer's shoes and how they want to be treated and you know in back of your head you may be thinking oh geez i did kind of screw this up a 20 dollars credit yeah. and maybe they do ask for a five dollar credit at that point, don't be afraid to give them a ten or fifteen dollar credit. Give them a little more than what they want, absolutely, because it makes them very, very happy, and they know that you're willing to stand behind the things. Sure. And I was not expecting a hundred dollar credit. I'm very, very happy, yeah. and gained a couple of pounds because of that. So, so hopefully that helps you. Um, do subscribe. Do leave comments down below. Uh, definitely do appreciate it. We respond to every comment out there, and we'll see you next video. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>